Hello everyone, this is Sunny. I am an IV CELSI in private practice in Irvine, California. Today, I'm going to show you how to do breast massage and hand express to remove your milk. Breast massage and hand express are very important skills to have if you're lactating or intend to lactate. They can help you to remove your milk manually when encounter engorgement or clock ducts. I often encourage moms to start practicing these skills daily after 37 weeks of pregnancy. That way, when baby is born, for any reason if baby can't latch, you are still able to remove your colostrum from breast to feed your baby, which will help your milk flow and increase your milk supply to prevent severe engorgement, clock ducts, or mastitis. However, consult with your care provider and lactation consultant before start practicing is still recommended. Before going into the techniques, let's take a minute to learn where the milk is made and how does milk come out. Okay, so here is a breast. And these are memory glands. These glands are made up by many small lobes. I'm just going to simply draw three glands here. And these are the ducts that lead to the nipple openings. Okay, over here are some fat and tissues. And back here is the ligaments and muscles. Outside at the skin area, you'll see this darker color area, that's areola. Everyone's nipple and areola size are different. They don't affect your ability to produce milk. Okay, and the milk is secreting from memory glands. Okay, milk ejects from memory glands through ducts. So when baby latches on and starts sucking, we hand express or when we're pumping, the letdown reflex is triggered and the milk ejects. All right, so when we are doing breast massage, we want to loosen the breast tissue, so we are massaging this area only. And when we are hand expressing, we hand express around the areola over here, one inch outside of the nipple. We work on different areas for different purposes. Okay, so here is the pretend breast. We want to massage this whole area, right? Avoid areola. And nipple, right? This is the areolar area, this is the nipple area. We do not want to massage areola or nipple. I'm going to show you three techniques for breast massage. The first technique is using both hands. The second technique is to use your fingertips. And the third technique is to use your knuckles. Okay, now when using two hands, there are ways that we can do. First you lift, then you rub, and then you drop. Okay, so it's, this is the breast. First you lift and you rub and you drop. You can do it vertically and horizontally. So this way I'm doing it vertically, right? So I lift, rub, and drop. And then for horizontally, I can do it this way. Okay, I lift, I rub, and I drop. Okay, next, use fingertips, right? And we do the finger dance. Work your way from outward all the way toward the center. Okay, so you can do it this way, slowly whirling into the center. Still, you want to avoid the areola and nipple. This way you can do also, you can do it this way, also from the outward to inward. Okay, you want to dance around your breasts, nice and gentle. Next, you can also use your knuckles to massage your breast in circular motions. Okay, it's going to be same as when you're using your fingertips dancing, but instead you're using your knuckles. Work your way from outward to the center in circular motion, right? And you can also do it in a straight line. Okay, let's recap. The first thing you can do with your both hands, you wanna lift, rub, and drop, right? Or you can use your fingertip to do the finger dance, right? From outward all the way to inward or outward to the center, but avoid areola and your nipple, or use your knuckles, same thing, circular motion from outward to inward, right? Or from outward straight line to the center, but avoid areola and nipple. You wanna massage your breast each side about five to 10 minutes. After massage, you need to follow by hand express immediately. All right, now let's continue to talk about hand express. 
Step one, stimulate your nipple. Just think about your nipple as the sink faucet. Every time when you try to turn on the water, you need to turn the faucet, right? It's very easy. Just like that, um, just um, gentle, gently stimulate your nipple like this until the skin of your areolas is wrinkled up. You will see the pimple-like dots popping up. These are called the Montgomery glands. It's normal to see them, okay? Just gently stimulate them very quickly, 30 seconds. Step two, form a C shape using a thumb and pointer, just like this, about one inch outside of the nipple. Use your four fingers, put them like that, and place them around your nipple, okay? And use the other hand, the thumb and the pointer, find the edge of the fingers. Now make sure the edge of your fingers are forming a straight line toward the center of your nipple. You can use one finger across the center of the nipple like that, right? And you want to kind of test and see if the, the tip of your fingers are at the right place. Now make sure if it's, it's not crossed over or it's too far away, you want to adjust it to just at the right place. Step three, star hen express milk. When you place your C shape like this, you want to start doing the press Compress, release, okay? Press down, compress, and release. Again, press, compress, release. Do it in the rhythm. Sometimes mom keeps on compressing for too long. They do press, compress, but they don't let go because they don't see the milk coming out. Now remember, do not do that. Compressing longer does not help your milk coming out. Just continue to do the sets of press, compress, release. Press, compress, release in the same rhythm. What we're doing here is not trying to squeeze out the milk from here. No, we're not doing that. We're compressing to send signals to our brain to trigger the milk letdown reflex, okay? Press, compress, release. Press, compress, release. Continue doing it about 30 seconds to one minute. You will start seeing milk coming out. Step four, switch side and continue hand express. Now you want to continue hand express, right? Every angle of your breast until you don't see any more milk coming out. Then you go ahead and switch side and continue hand express still every angle, every angle. Keep in mind that milk letdown will happen a few times in each session. So you may want to switch sides a couple times in one session. Meaning you, you're starting with this side, hand express, and you, you know, all the angles, and you don't, you don't see any more milk coming out. Then you switch to another side, you need hand express, no more milk, you're coming back again, switch, right? And then express, no more milk, you switch a side, okay, until there's no more milk. Then all together, you're gonna collect more milk this way. One last reminder. If you're trying to hand express colostrum, which is the first milk, you need more patience. Colostrums can be really thick and sticky and it doesn't flow easily. So instead of seeing milk dripping or ejecting, you may only see tiny little drops when you hand express. Now that doesn't mean that you don't have enough milk. That actually means you have milk. You have the liquid gold. The quantity of colostrum supposed to be very, very small and they come in drops and literally every drop counts. Don't feel discouraged by it. Just continue having your baby latches on, massage your breast and hand express if needed. After a couple days, when your colostrum turns into mature milk and you master these techniques, I promise you, you will see more milk. Okay, that's all for today's breast massage and hand express techniques. Again, this is for educational purpose only. Please consult with your lactation consultant for professional support. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share away. Thank you for watching. Bye.